friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I want to show you how to draw this cute little hippo and then we are going to color it with some crayon and some watercolor. Let's get started. So you're going to want to get a piece of paper and a pencil and the hippo's head is fairly big and it's kind of as you notice a pear shape. So we're going to draw that pear shape. So go towards the top of your paper and you're gonna draw a simple hill type shape, which is the top of the head. Okay, now we're gonna come down like this and then draw a large pear shape circle. Good. Next, we're going to add the ears. So come over to the side and bump it out come back and then add one curved line. And whatever you do on this side, you do on that side. So come back over, go around, and add a line down. Nice. Now, she kind of has a forehead, like a line like this. So we're gonna find the edge of your ear and then draw a curved line in, and then go over to your other ear, curve line in, and then connect those two lines. Next, we're gonna draw the muzzle and the nostrils. So go to the bottom of your shape and then come up and draw an oval like that. And then we're gonna overlap. So you want the nostrils to kind of be bumped out like that. Take your eraser and erase. And inside, draw a tear shape, the point going down. And then add a couple lines here to show some shape to the muzzle. And then we're gonna go down here and make a nice little smile. So come to almost to the edge, come in, and then back down. Nice. Now their eyes are kind of on the side of their head and they're really really kind of big. So we're gonna draw a circle over here and then another little circle that we're gonna leave white. And then we're gonna give it some eyelashes and do the same thing on the side. So draw a circle, another circle, and a couple eyelashes. And then maybe a little curve to show where the eyes are. Nice, now this hippo is coming out of the water. So we just need to draw the shoulders down like that. We don't have to draw everything. And I added a lily pad. You could put whatever you want, but lily pads are fairly easy. You just draw a heart shape on the side and just curve it. And then add a flower. A flower is just a bunch of really skinny footballs right next to each other. Add some lines for the lily pad. Then let's make another one here. You don't have to see the whole leaf. Now hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in the world, but they're so cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a few grass lines like this. One time I went to a zoo and it was in the country of Thailand and they let you buy bananas and feed them to the hippos. That was really cool. Now you wanna add a horizon line. So this hippo's in the water. So go behind the hippo and just make a line. And then I just added some simple hills. But you could add whatever you want. Your hippo could be wherever you want. Now, if you're going to watercolor it, I recommend outlining it with marker and then erasing your pencil. And then what I did for this one is I took a crayon and I colored the hippo in crayon. And then I took my watercolors. That way the watercolor doesn't mix with the crayon. But you could do whatever you want. But let's just see how this one turns out.
a cute little hippo to brighten anyone's day. I hope you had fun today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.